Okay guys, a little update on the PSE Extreme Stinger Bow. And uh, it's shooting really well now. I have tuned this bow a couple of different times and changed a few things on it. And went back and tuned it again and played with this bow a good bit. So, where are we at with this bow now? Well, I still have the original string on it, which is kind of a cheap string. And I did put a new D-loop on it. I got videos on this bow, so it kind of covers a lot of what I did. And so, uh, new peep sight with tubing here. And uh, most times the tubing is too short for some reason. So I ordered like 13 feet of this tubing. I got that in. Um, so that's one aggravation. You don't have to deal with too much with the peep sight anymore. And I uh, ordered string and cable for this right here. It was $106 from a really good company, um, uh, 60X Custom String, 60X Custom String. And they make them like two different colors or three different colors also. And uh, they have testimonies where people have won so many different types of national events and uh, tournament events with their string and it's a really a great string and it's pre-stretched string too so once you put your peep sight in you shouldn't have to really adjust it after you put it in uh, it's already pre-stretched string and so uh, for $107 you can't beat the string and the cable on that I don't think uh, but I don't have that string on here yet because I'm going to try to get all the goodie out of this one first and uh, if you have a stinger bow, if you want to unlock really the true potential of its power and accuracy, and um, it, it's just an incredible bow, um, but at some point you're going to have to replace the string on it generally. Uh, I don't know if they send them all out the same way with a cheap string or not, but uh, I've got a feeling that's probably, you know, they save a little bit of money on that. And they have these little flimsy... Um, this black part right here is, is really a soft rubber. I mean, it is so soft and fragile looking. Well, it's just like you could tear it in two with your fingers. I bought uh, these larger ones here, um, uh, limb dampeners. And uh, these are pretty stout. They're soft, but they're stout. They're, hard, they're a little tough to get in here. But they are supposed to reduce your vibration by 75%. That's what they say, you know how that is. That's about $16.95 for a set of four of these right here. I can tell there's a difference in the vibration uh, reduction too. And uh, then I bought my uh, new site for this right here, the Trophy Ridge React 1 Smart Pin Technology uh, Single Pin Site, which is new for me. And... Uh, it is an awesome sight right here. Uh, I'm not I'm not used to a single pin and adjusting the distance and all that, but uh, it's I've got a video on this sight right here. So, but it's it's a lot of fun to play with. And the other upgrade I did on this was uh, replace the rest. It had a ten dollar rest on it. It actually had about a fifteen dollar sight on it on the RTS version, ready to shoot. I say that's a $15 sight. The $30 Joker sight, 4 pin, which gets you out to 50 yards, is, incre is an incredible sight. I have two of those, and I have one on my other bow, on the Joker 4 hunting bow. But anyway, uh, buy Joker 4, $30 sight, and it's superior to what came on this bow. And uh, it had like a $10 rest on it, which was worked real well. But I bought this uh, Trophy Taker uh, Extreme Pro drop-down rest. I'm not used to shooting a drop-down rest. Uh, I put this on here and adjusted it, and I tuned this bow and everything else and paper tested it, too. But anyway, this works really good right here, and I'm not used to that. I'm not used to the sight, and I'm not even used to the parallel bow. I'm used to the older bows. Um, and... Uh, so it shoots like a, a, you know, like a Ferrari compared to bows that I have. They shoot well, but this shoots uh, so much better with the technology involved in it. And uh, 
this is the original stabilizer I left that on there. That's six ounces I weighed it. Uh, I have a chronograph, but I haven't checked the speed of it. And I've had it set for 60 pounds in the like 28 inch pull. Um, so that's mainly what I've done. I replaced the D loop. The original D loop was so cheap it cut through in uh, about 400 shots, I guess, something like that. But the bow is awesome. It, these bows are like about four or five hundred dollars, and the bow itself, the the riser, the limbs, and the cam system on this bow is probably I would say worth eight hundred dollars. You know, you're getting more than your money's worth when you buy one of these bows, even if you replace the string and the side and the arrow rest and all. They're just incredible, and people use them in 80-yard competition. These bows are so accurate. And this, again, is like the 32-and-a-half-inch axle axle, so it's more forgiving on your shots, and it's cl closer to a target-type bow, too. Uh, the Max bow, the, the latest Max bows, I think, are 30-inch axle axle. And um, once in a great while, you'll hear of a derailment up here, well, probably down here, on those bows um, because they're short axle to axle. That's a, it's it's kind of rare, but you'll hear it once in a while, but not with a 32-inch or 32-and-a-half-inch uh, axle to axle. So awesome bow, and I really enjoyed shooting it. And uh, this is part of, of the uh, arrows that I shot a while ago from 20 to 90 yards, and it's just so accurate. Uh, if you can hold it there, and that's the problem, you know, being able to shoot every arrow perfectly. And, but um, it's a lot of fun. Okay. PSD Extreme Stinger Bow. And again, we're going to be shooting the uh, 340, 385 grain Hunter arrow. All three arrows weigh the same. And... Uh, so let's check the speed on this, and let me magnify this screen a little bit. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah, I think right there, maybe. Okay, arrow number one. Arrow one, ready, shoot. Arrow number two. Now that's 245 feet per second, 245, and that was 239, and arrow number three, and that was 239. So we're shooting fairly slow. Now this bow is supposed to shoot up to 300. And I think 14 feet per second on IBO, top end, but it's on 60 pounds with 28 inch draw. If it was on 70 pounds with a 30 inch draw, it'd probably be hitting that. But I suppose this is kind of more realistic right here with that kind of arrow. And uh, then I want to shoot the uh, kinetic arrow. So the speed of these arrows is pretty close to the same, uh, 239, maybe 240. And so the kinetic arrows weigh 416 grains, 416 grains on the kinetic uh, gold tip arrows. So they're heavier than the two we just shot. So let's see what kind of speed we get on these. And these are, I just bought these arrows. These are brand new arrows right here. All right, arrow number one, 235. Arrow number two, 236. So they shoot about 235. They have good, they have good penetration power is one of the reasons you, people like the kinetic. The reason people like the kinetic energy, so that at least gives us some idea right there of this kind of speed that we're using here. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Gary J.